When's the last time that uh, you've gone to the Haskell web page? Uh, do we have internet? Yeah. Otherwise, we're in trouble. <laughs> it's it's it just really a slow. problem all day. Yeah. Uh, and like, yeah, so um, this is the problem. Maybe slow this on the site. Speaking of infrastructure, <laughs> um, so uh, one of the things with like the Haskell.org committee, which I'm a member of, is responsible for the Haskell.org domain and the things on it. And you can see they're a bit crawling at the moment because this is the one piece along the package, I believe, that we haven't migrated over to Hetzner. Uh, from Hetzner to the new rack space setup we have. So we've been doing a lot of work to move things over to a faster, more reliable place, which is important in part because when hackage goes down, we all hurt. Mm -hmm. And it actually got very slow just the other day. Well, uh, luckily Austin was uh, not here and um, <laughs> able to jump on it as we all discuss. Anyway, this is Haskell today. And it's a lot better than it used to be, uh, the, the website, literally, right? It uh, has, uh, and it, if you come, but why would we go here? We know what Haskell is. I don't need to. So go to what is Haskell or try Haskell new browser. I, 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 so I never go here, which is fine. That is not for us. It's for the people that don't know what Haskell is, and therefore they Google Haskell, and they click Haskell.org. And the question was, is this good for them? And uh, so as uh, Simon Marlow said the other day, imagine that you wanted to write a web application. Well, Chris Dunn, luckily for us, does like to write web applications and does like Haskell. So let's see if we can pull up Haskell tomorrow. Uh, oh. yeah, it actually, it, it does what he calls dynamic something, so it looks different if you, the screen was a different size. It would actually be in three columns, all the sexy stuff they do with that and the exciting stuff they do with that. Like it, I forget what they call that. But, Reactive, um, response, 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 right, which so everything responds, who knows what that means. So, um, <laughs> right, now do I want to click on tryhaskell.org to try Haskell? No, on haskell.org. I can say Poltar plus <laughs> and it tells me what it is. Right, right on the Haskell home page. <laughs> what if it didn't <laughs> <didn't> terminate? <laughs> uh, pardon? Well, it doesn't terminate, it gets killed. It, 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 it runs on a back end server and it, it's all nicely sandboxed and uh, you've got a bunch of standard libraries here and you can play with it. And uh, if this was working earlier, this is Chris Dunn's tutorial. Is that up your stairs? No, it, it's down. Um, that should be giving you a tutorial. In any case, um, there we are. These are videos that have come from the video screen. These are actually all New York Haskell users. We need to integrate other video streams, and I think it's static. But you can see the videos. Uh, this is a very blurry picture of Simon, apparently. Uh, maybe Jones speaking that he may put there. And he said, this is the sort of thing people like to see. So, OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, has, it has features as sections. And I think a lot of these are sort of lies. Scaling just works. Always. No more, no less. Really, right? So, these, um, so a lot of people uh, think maybe these features are lies. Uh, you go to the other pages in the site, I won't show them all to you, you'll find a lot of other things that are incomplete or lies or buttons you will click that don't work because it is a prototype website. What we need are more people to send pull requests. It's all on GitHub. You can get the link to it. If you have features, we have about 100 bike sheds to color here. We only have suggestions, much less pull requests, for about five of them. So, you know, let the bike shedding begin. Let a thousand voices speak. Anything you don't like about it, you don't like the colors, you don't like the text, Send a pull request, send a suggestion with code. We'll just start accepting, we'll start debating, and when that is done, if that is done, then we will have a beautiful new website that will uh, help bring all sorts of um, new people over to Haskell by making it more evident what it is and why they want it um, right from the start. Uh, so thanks for your time. Uh, Haskell Infrastructure Committee, you can all of <coughs> admin at haskell.org. How can you forget that? And the Haskell Infrastructure mailing list and the Haskell Infrastructure channel on Freenode. And if you want to get involved and contribute to any aspect of this, anything that frustrates you in the system, you know, patches welcome, new hands and helpers welcome, uh, we need all the help we can get. Thank you.